you're going to be okay there you go good evening good evening, good evening. everybody okay we're going to do the commentary for friday tomorrow march 9 2018 and the gospel for tomorrow's mass comes from saint mark and uh, it's from chapter 12 verses 28 to 34 Okay, we won't read the whole gospel, but um, the beginning of it says, One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There are no other commandment greater than these. The scribes said to him, well said teacher, you are right in saying he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. How many commandments do we have that, that uh, God gave uh, to the Jewish people and which have been passed on to us from the Old <coughs> Testament to now? Huh? How many do we know? Ten, right? Ten. So... There were only 10 commandments that were given to Moses, okay? But you see, uh, the Jews, the Jews, um, the, the Pharisees and the scribes, right? Uh, they, they had already multiplied the 10 commandments, right? From the basic 10, they started interpreting and making all sorts of laws and all sorts of requirements to, for people to follow. To the extent that the, those commandments have swelled to uh, over 600 uh, commandments. Okay? That is why our Lord was uh, prompted to say um, in one other gospel uh, passage that, uh, well, you have laid heavy burdens on people, but you yourselves are not following them. He was referring to all of those 600 plus uh, laws and commandments and rules that the Pharisees uh, and the scribes have imposed on the Jewish people. But then, and so with all of those commandments, they already got confused and the people were already asking, well, uh, what is really the most important among all these? Right? There's another, ver there's another version of this gospel where uh, he was asked, what are the most important of the commandments? And he gave more or less the same answer. Love God above all things and your neighbor as yourself. Okay? But in this particular gospel from St. Mark, he seemed to, Jesus seemed to have dwelt more on the uh, idea of loving God. Right? Or St. Mark rather highlights that aspect of the important commandment more than the other one. So love God uh, uh, alone. You shall love uh the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. In other words, we have to love God with everything we've got. Everything we've got. I know that perhaps it's not easy to imagine how can you really love God? Right? How can you really love God? Especially God whom we do not see. Especially God whom we cannot touch. Especially a God who uh, we really have no uh, understanding as to, as to uh, his being, right? It's quite difficult, right? It's quite difficult to love somebody whom you do not see. But, but you know what? Our Lord, our Lord precisely gave us a, a, a trick as to how we can be led to loving God. And he said, well, love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Because whatever it is that you do to the least of my brethren, 
you do unto me. Okay? So we can love God by loving the neighbor who we see, the neighbor who we interact with every day, the neighbor that we deal with, uh, not only uh, among ourselves, but uh, at work, at school, and everywhere else. Okay? These are the neighbors uh, that we can love. These are the neighbors we see. This should be the object of our charity. Okay? And by loving them, we are actually loving God. Okay? We will love God and we can love God by loving His creatures, especially His most important creatures, our fellow men. So that's one way by which we can express our love for God. But there's another way. There's another way. And this one uh, is not, uh, is not um, something that we hear very often, but, uh, but uh, I would like to emphasize that the other way, the other way we can fall in love with God is to fall in love with the humanity of Jesus Christ. It is to get to know and fall in love with the humanity of Jesus Christ. To get to know Jesus the man. Because Jesus is the manifestation of God. Eh? Jesus came down to earth in order to reveal God to us. And Jesus himself is the second person of the Blessed Trinity. See? So Jesus is God. Jesus is both man and God. He has two natures in one person. He is both God and man. Now, a, a, and he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. See? I am the way. So for us to lead to God the Father, for us to lead to God the Holy Spirit, we have to pass through God the Son. Okay? We have to pass through God the Son. We have to know God the Son. In other words, the best way that we can really learn to love God is to fall in love with the humanity of Jesus Christ. To fall in love with Jesus as a man. See? Because that's the first thing that we see. That's the first thing we get, we get acquainted with. That's the most, uh, 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 that's the closest to the reality that we can feel and touch and experience every day. Okay? The reality of Jesus being a man who walked this earth a little over 2,000 years ago. Okay? Whose places... Uh, who, who places that he that he roamed the the house where he lived and uh, the lake where he preached and all that are still around are still around see the place where he was crucified are still all there uh, and we can experience uh, uh, reliving the life of Jesus Christ uh, if we get the uh, good fortune of visiting those places right but but even before we could go visit those places, we have a very good way of knowing Jesus Christ. Every day, in fact. And how is that way? Huh? Before the Eucharist, Sophia, that's another good way. Before the Eucharist, how and where do we get to know Jesus Christ and, and really fall in love with the humanity of Jesus Christ? Huh? That's right. Through the gospel. Right? Through the gospel that we are studying every day. Okay, the gospel passages are the story of the life of Jesus. This is the biography of Jesus Christ. Okay, so if we want to get to know Jesus Christ and fall in love with his humanity, then we have to learn more about the New Testament. We have to learn more about all of the Bible narrations and stories that tell us about the life of Jesus Christ from his birth to his death. So the familiarity with which we grow into uh, uh, the gospel uh, scenes and the gospel narrative and the gospel uh, uh, parables, then the more we will get to know about Jesus Christ. The more we will get to know the humanity of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ as man. And you know what? The more we know that, the more we will fall in love with him. And the more we fall in love with him, the more we will learn to fall in love with God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. So a good lesson for us and a practical uh, uh, lesson for us Catholics is to uh, learn 
to, um, uh, um, to learn more about the life of Jesus Christ by frequently reading the Gospels, the New Testament, because the New Testament is the uh, biography of the life of Jesus. And that way, we will fall in love with the Godhead and the Trinity more and more each day. Okay? Okay. That's it for us. So hopefully tomorrow when we go to Mass, we'll understand better what the Gospel uh, is all about and be able to appreciate the Gospel message uh, through the Mass tomorrow. Okay. Good night, everybody. Time to go to bed. <laughs> what is that? Huh? Okay. Well, let's go, Shabby. You have the privilege of uh, pressing the off button. There you go.